All right, what's up, guys? It's me, Echo Fox Julio, and I'm here to show you guys some tech. And this video is about the power of going from crouching to standing and vice versa. Basically, using crouch and standing to get you um, coming out on top of most situations in Street Fighter, right? So let me give you guys the core idea. The thing about crouching, everybody, a lot of people already know this, but everyone knows that when you're crouching, your hurt box is wider, right? And if you look over here at this website, if this is me crouching, this is me standing up. You guys see that difference right there? It's a, It looks like just pixels, but it, it could be a game-changing thing if you use this correctly. So that's me crouching, that's me standing. Crouching, wider, standing, I'm a little more narrow, right? So how do we use this knowledge to beat people and get a lot of damage, right? Well, I'm here to give you those ideas, and I'm going to give you an example with a character that a lot of us hate. Guile, right? So here I have Guile recorded to do some typical Guile pressure that we all hate. And watch what... I'm going to show you what usually happens, and I'm going to show you what we can do about it using crouching and standing. So, thank you. All right, so here we go. This is what usually happens. He does his thing. I block, I block. Boom. He resets his pressure, and he gets back in with the bazooka knee. And it is so annoying because he's plus one, and we're just kind of stuck there. So what we're going to do this time, we're going to use our knowledge about the narrow narrow uh, standing hurt box to screw over Guile and get a lot of damage, right? So here we go. We're gonna block, 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 stand up, and then do a, a big, big combo. And now we're out of the corner, we got a lot of damage, and screw, uh, like, screw Guile, you know? Like, <laughs> it, this is great knowledge, like, how would you not want to apply this? And I also have another example against Nikali, which I'm going to show you guys right now. Because Nikali is also a very troublesome character. So, here we go. Just going to load up Nikali. And and once I give you guys these examples, I'm sure you're going to find different ways to apply it. But this will help you get started. <clears throat> yeah, it's like very minuscule knowledge, but... It will make the biggest impact, especially against Nikali. I'll show you guys a very creative way to use it, and you're going to get a lot of damage out of it. You're going to literally game-changing uh, situations, right? So let's say we're in the we're in the center, right? Nikali dashes up, does some typical string. We're, we're crouching. Boom, boom. See that? How we're just kind of suffering. We're just He's just pressuring us nonstop. Watch what happens when I stand up. All right, last second stand up. Get the punish. So... It's a big difference. It's actually really worth trying to find situations in which you could abuse crouching and standing to throw off your opponent, you know? Because if you do this correctly, you're going to get them to start whiffing limbs. You're going to get them to start whiffing special moves. And that's going to be your opportunity to punish them. So you should kind of consciously use this knowledge to, to throw off your opponent's pressure. So it's great to use it when you're blocking a lot in the corner. And it's great mid-screen. It's great against special moves. So, like, just try to use it and turn their pressure against them um that's really it i hope you guys like this video i will be coming out with a lot more but uh go ahead and tell your friends and share this video and uh, it's really good knowledge so the power of crouching and standing tell your friends thank you